Hi everyone, this is Lisa from the Rhinestone World, and in this video, I'm going to see if I can press HTV to this textured artificial leather bag. And this is something that I just got from the dollar bin at Target. Here's my little pouch. I have this in my heat press. I have my press set to about 300 degrees. Now I'm going to do a two color design because I'm doing glitter, I want it to stand out. So I did it offset. Now this is our white easy weed. It can be layered. So we're gonna put the glitter on top of the easy weed. Now you don't wanna do glitter on top of glitter, but you can do glitter on top of easy weed. Now because I have the zipper here, I'm going to need to raise this a little bit. So we're gonna raise it up. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do quick presses just to see if it'll stick. And I'm definitely going to use my cover sheet so I don't damage my top plate. So let's bring this back. And now we'll bring this down. And I'm going to go ahead and decrease my pressure a bit because the pillow is going to cause me to have to do that. So let's bring this down. So I'll do about five seconds. So it looks like it's staying okay. It looks flimsy though. Let's bring this up. So I can see that my carrier is leaving a mark in here. So when I go ahead and do my glitter, I'm gonna make sure to take the carrier off pretty quickly and then complete my press. You can see I have a little spot here where it's starting to melt. So it's probably not gonna work out super great. So we're gonna do quick presses, even less than five seconds. Let's go ahead. One, two. Oh. I brought my whole bag up. So let's take this. Let's bring this carrier up. Now you can see it looks okay. Um, I have that mark from the carrier, so I'm actually gonna take my pressing pillow and raise this and press it again for two seconds to see if I can get that mark to go away. Let's take this. Okay, so you can see I have a little bit of a mark where it was, but it's not too bad. I can probably let this cool a little bit and press it again. You can see I have my vinyl there. It kind of has gone into the leather. So I've lost a little bit of the texture. You can see right here that leather texture is gone. But a nice little thing that you can customize, it's really flimsy right now. So you wanna let it cool and maybe do another press later. So if you're going to do this for yourself, I would just go ahead and do it in stages. Don't take a large order for a ton of these to make sure you can do it. But if you have any more questions, you can email us at info at